and welcome back to Lido Lanes here in Nashville, New Hampshire. We are on to week three of our final ladder series of the season. And we have a Hall of Famer this week. Yes, we do. We have uh, Craig Holbrook joining us this week for the first time on the program, and he's going up against a, a solid bowler in Wayne Springfield who's coming off a, a good win against Josh Daly. Yeah, who he bowled very well, very consistent. And uh, let's bring up the bowlers and let's talk to them. Yeah, let's bring them on up. All right, so I'm bringing up uh, a gentleman to my left is uh, no stranger to many programs. I believe it's 13, and we're going to try to make it 14 uh, with Craig Holbrook. Uh, Craig, thank you for joining the show. Uh, we appreciate you having. Uh, we appreciate you being with us on Candlepins for Cancer. Thank you. Oh, looking forward to this. It's fun being back and doing a TV show again. Well, and uh, at Lita Lanes as well, which you're no stranger to. No, nope, nope. Many Easter titles and a lot of fun. Even when I didn't win, I came in. I had fun. All right. Well, uh, we're looking forward to this one against Wayne. Uh, you you bowl Friday nights against Wayne as well. Uh, back and forth a yep. few times, right? Yeah, he's a very good bowler. Yep. This is going to be good. All right. Great. Uh, Jeremy, take it away. Uh, Wayne, uh, coming right off your win against Josh Daly, uh, you bowl very well. You, a Hall of Famer. You're bowling against. How do you how do you feel going into it? I bowled Craig a lot of times, so you know, I'm just hoping for the best. <laughs> you know. Just throw your ball, and whatever happens, happens. Exactly. All right. All right, let's get to the match. Good luck, guys. All right, let's go. Wayne Springfield stepping up on lane 33 for the first string of this match against Craig Holbrook. Half Worcester on the right side. Semi-final match between two awesome bowlers. Winner of this match will go on to bowl our number one seed, Jonathan Boudreau. Boudreau qualified with a 684. And that was out of Metro Bowl in Peabody, Mass. Thanks to Metro for hosting us for our last series for the season. A tough box for Wayne to start out on five box. We'll, of course, have the Tournament of Champions coming up, but first we have to crown a champion here. And it's going to be one of three bowlers. It's going to be Wayne Springfield, it's going to be Craig Holbrook, or it's going to be Jonathan Boudreau. Well, he's off the head pin again. Slightly better leave than the one before. Finds the object. Still leaves the three, the four, and the seven. Could opt to try for the ten here. Let's see what he does. It's early in the match. He is going to try. He's going to try to make the ten. Boy, if if it's a one pin match at the end of the day, you wonder if that risk versus reward shot. Craig Holbrook stepping up. Hall of Famer Craig Holbrook. He's from East Bridgewater, Massachusetts. His first ball on Candlepins for Cancer, nine drop. Got a piece of wood, got turned a little bit, and it looks like it's rolling back, but he has a clean shot at the pin. Yep, just a clean two pin here for Craig. And he makes it. And he's one out of one. Right now he is averaging a solid 117. Noted. And now, the, and now the rest of it, please. <laughs> yeah. He's got a high single of 197. High triple of 508. <laughs> high five of 781 and a high 10 of 1461. Got two on the fill. Looking to do some cleanup. Yeah, tough six box. So just 18 for Craig. So both of our bowlers with a couple of wayward boxes there. That'll bring up Wayne Springfield. Yeah. 
from West Roxbury, Massachusetts, averaging 119 right now. He has a high single of 186, high triple of 444, high five of 686. And he finds the head pin, and he will take out the seven, uh, the ten, excuse me. Well, now he's got the seven, Jeremy, and now he's got double wood, and I, th he, I think you just have to go straight at it and, and really hope that you have something stay in play. Well, he, he hit the cap, and he kept it involved. Um, yeah, I think, he, I think he was thinking if he went on that right side, he was going to be able to twist it around. And a nine box, 24 through three. And Caleb Pins for Cancer Director. Al Johnson is not going to go get that piece of wood. And a hammer. That's a strike for Wayne Springfield. Craig Holbert coming up on lane 33. Finds the head pin on his first ball. A little tight on the one, two. He's got the two and two, the three, four, six, and seven. Tries to cut it. And a seven box for Craig. Craig works for Coca-Cola. He's a found installed technician and fantasy baseball expert, self-proclaimed. I will withhold comment as I play in the same fantasy baseball league as Craig. <laughs> Nine drop for Craig. <laughs> no, Craig is a very fine fantasy baseball player as well as he is a fantasy uh, bowling player. And that's uh, one out of two for Craig. We should bring that back, the fantasy bowling. I missed that. I think that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Wayne Springfield now working on a strike. Good first ball. Very good, good first ball. Two will get you three here, Jeremy, I think, with the three, five, and ten. Yeah, that piece of wood is... Uh, it's rolling away. It looked like it was coming up a little tight. Scoots by. Gets the eight. Eight for the fill. And a ten box. Solid 52 at the half. Wayne is a f an associate finance officer. Works for a nonprofit uh, company in Boston. Specializes in affordable housing and tax credit investing. Oh, it's going to. Oh, for a second I thought it was going to make its way over. Nearly did. Ran out of real estate and fell into the pit. And it's going to be a nine box. 61 through six. Craig looking to fill his mark. A big fill here for Craig. So 
on the head pin. Is he gonna trip the three? It does. And now what will that wood do? It's gonna roll into the channel, I think. It's just gonna stay over there. Nonetheless. Uh, Mind good, its own business. Good seven. Ah, just sneaks by the two pin. Seven fill. Gonna pick up the 10. We have note that Craig has been bowling for 51 years. His first TV appearance, Channel 27, 1979. Well, if his first channel was, a, if his first appearance was 79, would this not make six decades for him? This would make six, making television in six different decades. That's inc I mean, that's incredible in my mind. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my, my head around that one, bud. Uh, wow. To be that good for that long and. So after six. <laughs> wow. We have, we have a, uh, an even score. Wayne Springfield, Craig Holbrook tied yep. at 61 apiece. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors and uh, with the continuation of string number one. Springfield here on 33, starting off the seventh. Right through the middle. The spread eagle minus the seven pin. Uh, throws the same ball twice, goes right through the hole. See if he can get three and get out of this box. And a tough six box. Just one. Just want to throw a thank you out there to Lexi, Matt, and all the staff here at Lita Lanes for having us today. Lita Lanes has 36 lanes of candle pin bowling, pool tables, arcade games, plus great food and drinks at the Kegler's Den. And then right next door is Lita's Lighthouse with 12 more lanes of glow bowling and plenty of parking available. You can visit them today at 340 Amherst Street, Nashua, New Hampshire, or online at LidaLanes.com. That's 340 Amherst Street, Nashua, New Hampshire, or online at LidaLanes.com. They are really the most gracious of hosts, and we really look forward to having our program here uh, whenever we have our tape dates, Jeremy. Yeah, a huge, huge thanks. thank you to Lexi and everybody. Wayne with two tough boxes. Yeah, a couple of tough breaks there for Wayne. He's going to settle for six there. And not the trip that he wanted there. Double six is coming out of the break. But you know, it's still really, really early in the match. There's a lot of time. You know, better to get those kinks out now than... Craig off the head pin. Well, getting better all the time now. He's got the one, two in the back triangle, the six, nine, and ten. Head pin to hit. Gives it a ride, steals the, steals the six pin, leaves the nine and the ten. And a nice ten box. So, Jeremy, we talked about stats with Craig uh, regarding how many decades he's bowled in and how many shows he's bowled in. I think he, I think you he said he's eclipsed over 110 shows. 110 shows in I general, mean, but I mean across, uh, like you said, 14 different different shows in themselves. Like incredible, I mean, just Channel 27, Comcast, Channel 5, Nesson, Channel 50, Channel 56, which was a great show. Right. And meanwhile, he has the 189 here. Oh, and a great really carries it. Leaves the eight. But he has one stat that he had mentioned before that we had started uh, between he and Wayne himself that just absolutely blew my mind, Jeremy. Yeah, uh, so apparently in the Friday Night Pro League, 
They both pulled the same amount of strings. They ended up with the same exact total pinfall to the pin. For the entire season? The entire season, which is over, you know, you figured, 10,000 pins. And they were dead even through six boxes here, so we're still... <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm just so, trying. So I'm just. I'm just trying to keep track of it because that just that absolutely boggles the mind. Wayne on the object pin leaves the leaves the three, the five, and the six. I think if that's grounds for anything, we should be uh, tuned in for all three strings here. Yes. Just eight for Wayne. And just eighty-one. Yeah, but on. I mean, to to his benefit, though, I mean, Craig has had some tough leaves himself. Yeah, both bowlers trying to find their way here early. So he has no way, you know, in that big of a hole. One, three, four, six, seven, nine. Uh, tries to go outside. Needs pins here. You can't go open against uh, Craig with a couple, a couple wayward boxes. And a good out. That's Ends a solid up with an eight. eight. An eighty-nine string. Not the way he wanted to start. Well, if you're going to place it, it has to be in the first string. Yes. So, especially when your opponent's not exactly blowing the doors off here. So. That being said, though, Craig Holbrook now holds all the keys. And he's off. Off the head pin a little bit. A piece of wood rolling up tight. We'll see if the, oh, move the three pin off the spot. We'll see if it changes the shot now. Yeah, it keeps everything a little tight. Just misses the head pin. Leaves the head pin. Looking to be picked this up for us. Uh, for a 10 box. And with that open box as well, regardless, it's it's going to be close no matter what after yep. the, fir the first string. So uh, you'd like to say, sure, an 89. Oh, you don't want to have that posted on the board. Well, you might be only chasing about a 11 pins here, you know. Craig with a great first ball uh, and a, a big nine ball drop. from Holbrook. Yep. Got the piece of wood against the seven pin. Another piece of wood that's it makes that's it out. Very difficult. He may be able to sneak by it. Let's see what he likes to do. He's going to play the front wood. And the ten box. So as, as you said, he's only chasing twelve with an eighty-nine strike. And you think it, it could be so much worse and. Here we are, yeah. just 12 pins. 12 pins, 101 for Craig Holbrook, 89 for Wayne Springfield, and we will be back with the second string. <laughs> Craig leading off the second string, great first ball. Five pin is wiggling, does not want to go. And he'll get the two, and he'll be shooting the five pin for a 10 box. Now, we talked about Craig's individual stats. Let's talk about some team stats. Four world teams titles. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, that's... All right. That, yep. Uh, you, when you say you have four world teams titles. It's, uh, that's a lot. On the front one, 10 pin trips. He's left with the three and the eight. To even put yourself in position to win that many times is impressive. Yes. And to actually pull it off is even more impressive, so. He's got two world singles titles. Mm -hmm. Six times bowler of the year. On the WC, mixed with the WCBC and the Pro Series. Mm -hmm. And during a team's, world teams match, went 25 marks in a row. 25 in a row. Um, 
Uh, I got nothing for you. Uh, in which he went 505 for those three strings. It's a world team's record that still stands. I've got I've got one that I remember, um, just it, just because he he told me once or, or that I saw it once maybe I don't know. Um, he threw a 500 without a double. All right, I, uh, we'll have to ask him about that. I'm, I'm just going to say it like that. He threw a 500 series without a double strike. And I find that incredibly hard to believe. <laughs> and, and maybe that's the, the 25 in a row. You know, I, if, I feel like it could be. Um, Wayne starts off with a 10 box. Yeah, the superlatives are unbelievable. I can't say enough about them. Craig went, uh, went two opens. Wayne looking to take a little bit of an advantage here. Finds the front one. Leaves the nine pin with a piece of wood in front. Pin. Yep. And the nine pin looks to be frozen upon. Should be okay for Wayne. Anything below the red line should be all right. And he makes it. He's okay. Wayne is on the board. Timely mark for Wayne. Gets him right back into the match. Craig off the head pin again. Not a bad cleave. Could be worse. He's got the one, two, seven, and eight. Little wood with a little space. Doesn't change much of anything. Interesting reaction to the head pin. Just kind of hopped over everything. And a 10 box. Moves over to lane 34. Just a heads up for anybody looking for something new this summer. The Amateur Candlepin Tour is a 90% handicap tournament series for bowlers of all skill levels. Each monthly tournament has a unique format. You can email amateurcandlepintour at gmail.com or visit their page on Facebook for more details. That's amateurcandlepintour at gmail.com or visit the page on Facebook, Amateur Candlepin Tour. Check out some new faces at some new places and check out a 90% handicap tournament. You can take in any average. Anybody has a chance to win. I like that, new faces and new places. Got an eight box for Craig. Still open in the second string. Gives him 37 and an open door now for Springfield. Doesn't find the head pin, but not a bad leave. You got the one, the two, seven, and the ten. You got a couple pieces of wood. Happy with the six fill as well, Jeremy. It's not a bad leave at all. No. In the Outside. pocket. Carries everything but the ten. And the ten box. Steady pins. Ten boxers are crucial. I mean, you remember he had that three, four, seven in the first box. Yep. Of the match, or early on in the match, and we wonder if that one pin is going to come down to it. Right, here we are, halfway through, and maybe asking that question. Three, six, and seven now for Wayne. Uh, just skips by the, the three pin. He's looking to just get one of these. Oh, he almost gets the 10. Cuts it right in front of the seven. As we were just talking about how important the 10 boxes were, <laughs> he worked extra hard for that nine. Off the head pin again. Gets three with his first ball. 
four horsemen on the right, plus the four, seven, and nine. Wood in the back. And Craig will be happy with the 10 here. Settles for just nine. 46 through five. Another interesting stat for Craig that came across well, not too long ago on, on Canopin Chat. Apparently, he has bowled a 400 series over 1,000 times. I'll let that sink in. So, I have to believe that. I, I'm gonna go ahead and... Nice oh, and shot. he makes the nice makes shot. The shot. In, a, in a big shot here in the sixth. Makes the Kaliri on the right side. Just a little poke job to the eight pin. Back you go. If he had 395, he's got 400. No, I think that I think that's plausible. And I, I saw some of the uh, the comments there. I I thought they were interesting. I think the math checks out. I also think he's that good, Jeremy. <laughs> I would have to agree with you. Wayne, off the head pin, does not. Oh, and he makes a fantastic shot. That's the one, four, seven, nine, ten. Gone like nothing. How do you leave it in the first place? What a beautiful shot. And what a timely answer as well. A big fill here can change the momentum. Gets away from him for half Worcester on the right. Neither bowler seeming to want to take a hold of the match yet. Oh. Well, he Wayne is made all it. the way to Worcester. I was about to say, he, he, he made the track down 290. Well, here we go. Is it a five? Is it a four? Is it a ten? It's a five. And that's going to bring us to our break. Yeah, Craig Holbrook sitting 56 after six, plus a fill. Wayne Springfield at 62. Uh, we'll be back after a word from our sponsors with the conclusion of string number two. It's a six-pin lead in the string for Wayne. Craig Holbrook stepping up on lane 33. He's working on a mark. All important fill here. Biggest ball of the match. Trips the 10. Piece of wood rolling across into the gutter. And he catches it. No, oh. oh, Craig's going to wave it off. He's going to he's he's going to wave that off. That was really really close. That was that's. He saw the wood move on the way in, and uh, that's uh, that's a pro's call. That's a gentleman's call. Well, I was I was always taught if if you have any doubt, if you're not 100 percent sure, then yeah, you don't you don't you don't take the shot. That, I mean, doubt, it's, it's leave it out for me, Jeremy. I'm with you, man, and. I, I think that good karma goes that way uh, in general. So mm -hmm. let's see. Let's see if it proves right with Holbrook here. Well, and hey, he makes the you spin. Know, ball don't lie. So it, apparently that wasn't good. So and, and it's always it's always tough on those bang bang plays like that too. Sure is. Yeah. Wayne stepping up. Wayne on the head pin <laughs> leaves another another beauty. He's got a fun one. He's got the two, five, seven, eight, and ten. It's really any way you can make the two seven, I guess. Just try to bomb the two pin. Oh, it's not gonna make it over. Everything but the seven. When you look at a shot like that, you 
basically you're thinking, how do I carry both corners? Right. And he'll pick the 10. As we mentioned, Craig Holbrook is a Hall of Famer. Ah, good bid for Wayne, a little full. And a nice 10 box. Nice 10 for Wayne. That's going to bring up Craig here on the mark. I want to mention to you that Candlepin Bowling is proudly presented by Candlepins for Cancer. This charity supports bowlers and their family members who are fighting cancer with money to help pay for treatment and bills. And since our inception, the charity has given away over $12,000 and counting to those in need. You can electronically donate to Candlepins for Cancer through candlepins4cancer.com. That's candlepins4, the number 4, cancer.com, candlepinsforcancer.com. Or send a check to 467 High Street, number 8, Hampton, New Hampshire, 03842. That's 467 High Street, number 8, Hampton, New Hampshire, 03842. Care of Al Johnson. And we appreciate Alfie for all of his hard work with Candlepins for Cancer, and we're happy to bring you this program today. Craig with a nine box, sitting at 101. Off the head pin, but leaves the four horsemen plus the nine pin. Be nice to have one coming in the clubhouse here. A little full on the head. Tried to on trip the, head the pin. three on the way back, or tried to trip the six on the way back, I should say. Put an honest bid at it. Yeah. He'll finish with a 109. 210 for two strings uh, for Craig. Wayne looking to dig into that hole a little bit. Could take the lead here. Great first ball. He's the four pin. Beautiful ball on the one three pocket there, Jeremy. Yeah. He's got the four pin stone cold. And he'll make it. All over it. Clutch bowling from Wayne Springfield. As I said, he's averaging 119. Bowls out of 20th century lanes in uh, Hyde Park. Owned by the, the Covets family. Covets? Kovitz, yeah. Shout out to Jay. Great ice cream. Ron's Gourmet Ice Cream. So Phil, a little bit off the head pin, but gets an okay break. Had a piece of wood that was interesting. Now I'm going to roll in the gutter. Two will get you five, though. The one, two, seven, eight, and ten. Any way to make the two pinner here for Wayne. That's kind of a nightmare ball now. If you really just want to bail out for nine or better if you can. Yeah, that's a great nine that's box. Way to nine. finish. Huge nine. 106 for Wayne Springfield. So after two, we have Craig Holbrook at 210, Wayne Springfield at 195. 15 pins is 15 pins. Uh, we'll be back for the third string, an un uninterrupted third string, after these messages. <laughs> All right, Wayne Springfield stepping up to lane 33 to lead off the third string. 15 pin lead for Craig Holbrook. Both bowlers struggling to break through and no, put those marks together. You could find 15 pins at any time. 
But then again, when when that happens, this is one of those matches where pinning is everything. Absolutely. See if we can start with one here. And he makes a great man. shot. Boy, if that wasn't right on time. <laughs> Ten pin took a little bit to I like you didn't want to fall over, but it finally gave in. That's a huge one to start here. On the head pin for the fill. Wow, he leaves the spread eagle with a piece of wood. How often do you see that, Jeremy? No. I what a one percenter. Now I feel like it goes. Pick your side. Oh, he oh, makes it! it. Makes a spread eagle with that piece of wood in between. Them. Absolutely incredible. How often do you see it? Talk about a break, but it's not a break until you make it. What a huge swing when you're chasing 15. And now Holbrook on 33. He comes up He's with a great ball. You know, some... Craig looking to fill the strike here. On the head pin again. See what the wood does here. Will it flatten out? He wants it to, it does. The six and the 10 now makes the shot a little bit easier. It's still all the way up on the lip though. Gotta make sure you drive it all the way back into the 10. And nicely he gets done. it done. That's a nicely done. 20 box for Craiger. Gives him a 21 pin lead. And a huge answer against two awesome shots from Wayne Springfield. Puts the pressure squarely back on Wayne. Both of our bowlers now with a chance for prize money. Off the head pin, but needs a full horseman on the left side. Very makeable shot. Is he going to run it? No, oh, sneaks by the head pin. Leaves the one and the seven. Didn't miss by much. Ah, that's going to be an eight box. 38 through three boxes. Looking to come back on lane 34. Still time. He's bowling well. Taking a little time, trying to set himself. Yeah, I don't blame him here, Jeremy. Biggest box of the match. Got to find the head pin here. And he does. The seven looked like it wanted to wobble a little bit. Does not go. Well, this looks really fun. I think the 10 pin might be OK if he can get by that back wood. All the way on the right hand side. I don't I don't see how else you can carry both corners. I think that's the only way to go. I don't think that, that wood against the nine pin is. I just fear that it's too high and I think you have to really try to make it for the match. So at least try to find the cap on the right. Ah, and he'll lose two pins there. Oh. Best he can do here is an eight box. And it'll be an eight. Two opens for Wayne. Craig coming up, working on a mark. Good. Ball on the one-two from Good. Holbrook, Good trying to pounce on the two opens here. Yeah, P 
Piece of wood's going to roll up, but I think it's going to go into the channel. Still a difficult shot here. Yeah, the wood's a little out to the left. Yeah, Craig kind of caught in no man's land. It, maybe to the right of the left line, and you hope you carry the 6'10", or even all the way to the left could have been the play. That's a really a difficult shot when it's all the way up to the gap like that. So Craig will just settle for nine. Gives him 47. Not comfortable yet, but he does have a 24-pin lead here going into the fourth. Craig leaves the four horsemen on the right side. Just a quick shout out to some of the other bowlers that bowled with us over at Metro Bowl in Peabody. Uh, shout out to Sonia Johnson with a, a solid 637. Uh, second time that she's just barely missed the show. Uh, we encourage all you ladies to keep, out, keep coming out and bowling with us and uh, looking forward to seeing all of you out here next time. Uh, Chris Harris, Deck Klein, uh, Bruno DeFeo, Justin Kochi, John Winchell, Matthew Lawless, Reno Jr., Sean Landry, Ryan Suttle, all bowlers that also threw over 600. And uh, also, uh, we're paid that day uh, just for showing up. So come on out and bowl with us and, and support Candle Pins for Cancer. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next season uh, as this is our last ladder. But thank you so much for all the support, and we're looking forward to seeing all of you next season as well. Yeah, that, that that's... I was reading that today when I saw the list and seeing that Sonia Johnson was sixth for a second time. I think it'll be just a matter of time before oh, just she a matter, makes the exactly. shot. Exactly. Uh, six for the second time, I was about to say, just a matter of time then and, uh, at that level. Uh, and he makes a nice 10. 56 after five boxes. He's got to have one here. It is only 26, Jeremy. He's He's got time yet, but boy, we could use one here for him. Uh, he gets the corner to trip, and he's looking at the one and the seven. That piece of wood between those two. Well, so it looks like it can't hurt. Oh, well, maybe it did. Goodness me. How unlucky is that? And he gets the 10. Which would have taken the 7 10, because of course. Tough break for Wayne. Gives him 66. More importantly, puts his back against the wall, especially considering what Craig has here. Opposite the two open frames. And there's going to be a strike for Craig. A little thistle missile. That was definitely a thistle missile. <laughs> Big shout out to Frank Thistle. Looking for a double. Nearly a the trouble double. <laughs> Leaving the one and the three. Just misses the head pin. Gonna try and clean this up for a 10 box. And he's gonna have a nine. Current 34 pin lead. I hate to say it, but I think the time's now for Wayne. Well, it wouldn't hurt, Jeremy. Uh, down 34 with four to play. It's it's not out of the realm of possibility. That, that took a when while to get the seven. Great first ball. Although if he goes on the left side of that of the two pin, almost as if he doesn't hit the pin, Jer. I think if uh, if he just clips the wood on the way by, maybe maybe able to snap it all the way over. I think he hit that a little too low. A little too low. 
Difficult shot either way. And it's going to be go time now for Wayne. I'd like to mention that the third string is brought to you commercial free by Alley Chat. Please subscribe to Alley Chat. Besides these great episodes of Candlepin Bowling presented by Candlepins for Cancer, you can also watch vintage matches, matches all the way back to the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. We have everything there. Subscribe to the Facebook page at Alley Chat, especially for live Friday night Pro League matches and much more. And thanks for tuning in to Alley Chat. Wayne with a nine drop here. Looking at the two pin. And he's going to get it. So these are the all important two boxes for Craig. I, th I think he needs one here out of these two boxes. Going to leave the five pin. He's going to pick it up for a 10. 95 through seven. And while it's not academic yet, a mark here would put it essentially out of reach. And there it is. There's a strike. And that's one way to do it. Craig with a timely strike here in the eighth box. It's gonna put six on the fill. Oh, he makes a great shot. shot. Got a chance here for some bonus money. If nothing else, right? Strike here would make things interesting. Uh, it's going to be an eight. Yeah, what if a double would have uh, made things uh, at least... Intriguing for sure. Let's see if you can't pocket another twenty-five dollars here. Uh, sneaks by it, so he's at one ten, one eighteen. One twenty for Wayne Springfield. A three fifteen total. Craig working on the strike. The woods going to turn a little bit. Still a difficult shot. Two could get you four. And an eight box. 119. Craig will go on to face our number one seed, Jonathan Boudreaux, for a, for a uh, prize of $2,000. Runner-upper will receive $1,000. Makes the shot. Solid three pinner for good measure. 129 with a bonus ball to throw. Looks like Craig seemed to have.
found his ball a little bit over the last uh, string and a half or so. Yep. It's a nice a feeling going spell. into a final match. And That's for one, sure, Jeremy. And a 135. Craig Holbrook with a victory, 345 over Wayne Springfield with 315. Uh, we'll be right back and we will talk to the bowlers. <laughs> Well, welcome back to Lady Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. Uh, Craig Holbrook of the victor in this match, 345 to 315. Uh, it was a little bit of a struggle in the first two matches. Couldn't, didn't seem like any, uh, neither bowler could really get it going. Yeah, both of our bowlers were struggling a little bit early on, and uh, it seems like both of them got it together uh, just about when the match was about to end. So, uh, you know, let's bring up both of our bowlers. We'll start with Wayne Springfield, our runner-up today. Let's give him a round of applause here. Wayne, thanks again for joining us today. Uh, you, you bowled great. Uh, you had a nice match uh, in the previous match. And uh, we've got a check for you for $500 and uh, plus $75 in bonus money. So $575, not a bad uh, a ladder's work, you know? Great. Thank you. Uh, it, was, it was a tough uh, match there. And, uh, you know, yeah, like you said, we found it the last game. But, um, you know, I came out on the opposite end. But, you know, it was a good match. Difficult to run the ladder against uh, especially bowlers like this. We hope to see you next time. All right, thank you. All right, thanks a lot, Wayne. <laughs> that brings up Craig Holbrook. Over that side? Sure. <laughs> Over there. Come on. Craig, I mean, as I said, it looked like the first two strings, it didn't seem like either bowler could, could really break anything up. And how is it, what's it going through your mind trying to get out of that, to get, get things going? That is a hard thing when you're struggling. You, you're hoping for a, a break, and you make it, and then you put a good fill on it, you make another one. So you gain momentum, and the momentum continues on, and then you're back to normal again. But when you're struggling, it's so hard to get out of it. Sometimes you need a break. Exactly. Or even the other bowler, you know, Wayne started out with two marks in a row. You came back with two of your own, and sometimes that just kind of gets the ball rolling. Oh, absolutely. When he got those two in a row, I said, okay, here we go. We got something here now. I better get going. But you can't always control that either. You can throw a great ball and... Maybe not have success, but but I did. I was okay. You move on to the finals. You're gonna be bowling an extremely tough bowler in Jonathan Boudreau. Uh, winner's gonna take home two thousand dollars, a thousand dollars for the runner-up. Um, any words for uh, for Mr. Boudreau? No, just to have fun, like I plan on having fun. This is gonna be great. I miss this. This is. <laughs> I'm glad this is back. This is gonna be awesome. He's a great bowler, and he's a lefty, so he's a really good guy. So we're gonna have a battle. Well, next week we have our championship round. From everyone here at Candlebins for Cancer, thank you guys very much, and until next week. All right.